It's Wednesday morning. That means it's midweek boot sale time. But today I'm going to attempt a record, a record for me anyway. I'm going to try and do three boot sales today. Never ever done that before. The plan is to get over to Fitzwilliam first thing, then Norcross, and then later in the day, Great Harwood. Keep your fingers crossed. This might go horribly wrong. <laughs> Let's get on the road and see what we can find. Either the days are getting shorter all of a sudden, or I'm here very early, which makes a refreshing change. We have got some boot fruit beat sales to get through today, though. How much are your boots, love? Uh, two quid. Two quid. We'll do two quid. Thank you very much. SLV SE710. What have you got that one, bud? Uh, 15. That one. 15. Can you get anywhere near 10? 13. Obviously. Yeah, no worries. 5 on. 5 on. Cheers, buddy. Oh, okay, nice. Yes, mate. How are you doing? What's your name? Adrian. 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 Oh, nice one. Cheers, man. I appreciate it. Oh, got me chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should be a good day today. I'm open, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been spoiled locally. This um, the one I normally go to on a Saturday. He's doing a Wednesday as well now, and it's absolutely heaving. It's busy on the Saturday. Uh, Norcross near Fleetwood. Oh, I'm local to it. Isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah I, you know me. I get that. Isn't it? Yeah. I see. <laughs> I'm just a car boot slot. <laughs> How you doing today, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I do seventeen quid. You won't get them anywhere at that. No. Yeah. Well, maybe Benidorm. <laughs> maybe Benidorm. Well, you wouldn't. I lived in Benidorm for um, 28 years. All right. I'm an ex-singer, so... Oh, there you go. I am in Benidorm. I had a million pound house there. Yeah. I was a singer. It's a shithole. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. That's where you can have too well, much. It, to be honest, Benidorm's nice. It's just the, it's just the English side. You can have too much of a good it's thing, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But you know, when you, you, I mean, I worked snoring out of step toes, I run dome and all sorts of things. Yeah. And there, you know, there's more people injured than what there is like go. I bet you've seen every walks of life go there, eh? Well, that you've got. Off. How long have you been going there? I've only been a few times. No, but how long ago? Uh, I think the earliest I went would have been 78. All oh, right. So if you're going all that time, because all the entertainers that were there, Johnny Callender, he was like longest there. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, he were in a, in a working step toes, fight broke out, they've got a young, just drunk of Brits, got yeah. a guy on the floor kicking him in head, this young kid, went to break it up, kicked him in windpipe, kicked him about 100 times head, he's got like a brain problem now. Jeez. Then you had um, Michael Sachs, who was one of the drifters. There's some... Uh... He chucked himself off a balcony. Coach out his head. Bloody hell. Because you've got old drug dealers forcing you with drugs all the time. Yeah. It's yeah. not quite what it seems there. No, I bet. How much have you got on these? 20 a piece, mate. <laughs> Bit of a long show. You haven't got an Xbox One controller, have you? Yeah, hey, I'm uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I managed to get hold of a cheap console, but I can't for the life of me find a... Get actual console. They're all, they're all really expensive. Yeah. Are your jeans a set price? Are they different? They all vary, mate. Um, yeah. They're tenner, most of them. Yeah, they're tenner each. Yeah. Oh, 
What have you got in your jacket? It's like 15 days right there. 15. Let's see if we can put a few things together. That here, Harley it's a bit for me, that. Yeah. It's, what, I've got a it's a big for me as well, believe it or not. <laughs> You're a bit bigger than me, though, aren't you? You meant to put a jumper underneath, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. definitely a summer jacket, isn't it? What have you got in your Harley lid? 100 quid on that. 250 quid from Harley Davidson, brand new. I had three of them that yeah. I bought two for me and her, and we got rid of Harley, and we had him wore them. I and went to Ireland and back and that. That's all I went in that. That's anything in Harley's that. mega bucks, isn't it? I went, that's all I ever went to work. It's even got there. Oh, yeah, yeah. What size is it? It's my, it's my size. Oh, is it a medium? No, it's a large, I think. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not for me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I paid 120 quid for that when I bought it. Yeah. I, yeah. About, I think realistically about three years, four years, something like that. And I've only probably worn it about six or seven times. Yeah. You lost the lining for it. Lost the lining for it. Do you know I probably no, might have that? Yeah. Where are you from? Chorley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> and what have you got that one? I wanted 30 quid for it. Lens yeah. comes off. It's, the case is there for lens. Have you got a battery cover for it? Uh, it, yeah. Yeah. And it's not actually mine, it's my young ones. He did photography, you know, in Leeds. Oh, right, yeah. He went and did all that lot. In fact, he, he just came in with one day to got a lot of stuff with him and I was like, I don't know what the fuck they are, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Would you do a turn on that? Nah, nah I've just got it. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll get me another back of pictures from our road. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. They were saying it's getting expensive on here now, is that right? 20 quid and just charge us for this. Is it? Yeah, yeah. 20 quid. What well, size are you using? Some boats there, size nines. Yeah. Some eights. They're a bit knackered on the zips now then. Yeah. They're like spare parts of other boats. Yeah. Again, they're fucking stupid money, aren't they? Yeah, the city ones. Yeah, they're all stupid. I'm determined to buy some off here. Yeah? I'll keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> what about your combi? It's like a fiver for it. Yeah, have you got the remote? No. I think it's like a probably figure eight, this, isn't it? It's yeah, a figure eight, that. Yeah, yeah. Full set of pangers that come off a of Bandit 6. We're not racked for it and everything as well. Yeah, yeah. No man, I don't rack powder coat. It's all brand new powder coat yeah. somewhere. It's all there. I'm, a, I'm like that about getting rid of my bandit at the minute. Oh, right. I'm on number seven. The thing is, I buy them thinking, I can, I can work with miracles with this thing. I like that one. He's got to be honest with you. It's a 2000 model. Yeah. So, I'll strip down the recoil. I nearly bloody killed myself on the 600. My missus had one and I took it for an MOT. I rode it like a round mine. Is and yeah. that average hell, mate? 100 quid on that one, love. Is that empty? Or no. How much is it? It's best to tell Sorry, mate. Sorry. No, you're all right. No, crack on, yeah. Come back and look at you in a bit, mate. Oh, all the best. Did you your leather coat for sale, pal? You want that? That leather coat, is it for sale? Yeah. How much Jeez, is it? Mate. Is it a loss, this one? Yeah. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, buttons on the left. Yeah. Why oh, is it lasses? Yeah. You don't know what I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, buttons are on left hand side, aren't they? Yeah. What's that? Uh, that's a sticker. That's a bit crap, isn't it? Yeah, that'll wipe off. It is leather, though. Let's say 10. Yeah. Can we get anywhere near 5? Anyone? Can we get anywhere near 5? Uh, 8. <laughs> we got a. 8. 8, alright, fair enough. Oh, we'd land it somewhere in between, wouldn't we? <laughs> That's a fair deal, that, isn't it? It is a fair deal, yeah. You've got to stick your neck out a bit sometimes, haven't you? Really you? <laughs> Top man, thank you very much. Okay, mate. What have you got in your lamp, Paul? Uh, £15. So you can have a look at it, please. Yeah, yeah. This box, sir. Yeah. Oh. This is box. Wow. Mm. Very, very cheap. Yeah. Would you do 10 on it? 12 pound, no. 12. Yeah. 12, yeah, we'll do 12. Thank you. That polystyrene's going to be all over my house, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you very much. Is this the only one you've got? Any more? Yeah, yeah. 
Have more. Maybe uh, go, uh, two more or uh, one more? Same. Yeah. Um, no, no, maybe two or uh, one more. Yeah, yeah. When are you coming back? Yeah, yeah. When are you here? Next, 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 next week. Yeah. I'll come back to see you. Yeah. Thank you, mate. All the best. Only a few pickups from Fitzwilliam this morning. It's a lot quieter than they expect it to be. It started raining. It wasn't really forecast for today. Maybe that has something to do with it. It's been a few weeks since I've been, so I was looking forward to coming over anyway. On to the next boot sale, Norcross. Here we come. Looking a bit overcast at Norcross today, but it's filling up quite nicely. Yeah, No, I don't know if it's uh, sealed it, records, what you do really well is yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a look at them. Um I, it's something I need to put some time in because yeah. I'm not that passionate about vinyl and um I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So those two things, it stops me looking at them really. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely have a look, particularly if they're sealed. About two years ago with them. Yeah. Probably not about 20-30% of the kit, but no, we don't we, we struggle ourselves sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they're quick flyers. Yeah, of course, yeah. So we have we to make ourselves get into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. We knew, I'm just saying we knew Jack about two years ago, did we? And then we got to make ourselves get into it. Yeah. Do you do, can you take bank transfer? Yeah, definitely. Nice one. Or oh, car payment would be even better. We haven't got car machine, but yeah. bank transfer. Brilliant. How much is your grooming set? Five pound. Five pound. <laughs> yeah. See what if we hit that separate for now. There we go. Yeah, just need to come in the bottom of it. Yeah. Where there's a will. Oh, there's always a way. Where there's a will. Ashley, thank you very much. Very much, Ashley. One absolutely unusual morning. It was about averagely busy at Fitzwilliam. Not so many pickups there. Really busy at Norcross again, but almost no pickups at all. In fact, if it wasn't for something I'm gonna come onto in a minute, then I would have spent very little money at all. But I'm being brave. I'm going to go down an avenue I've never been down before. There's gonna be a few people watching this video that are um, just basically taking the mickey, which I don't mind, but, for me, I like testing things I like for my own peace of mind. There's only so far you can take some research before you have to take a leap of faith. What I'll do though, I'll tell you what I'm on about in the roundup after we've been to Great Harwood. Sometimes the boot sale gods don't smile at you and today was one of those days. In the four hours between me leaving Norcross boot sale and the Great Howard car boot sale, the heavens opened and started chucking it down. So it was not really worthwhile going, so I'm not going to go. Slim pickings today at the boot sale, a glaringly obvious cock up and an investment in my future. Let's get into it, I'll show you what I mean. In no particular order, this long women's uh, leather coat, I sold a few in the past, these are always good news. I haven't sold one for a while. Looks a bit small, actually. Looks like an eight or a 10, maybe. Very, very popular. Paid eight pound for this. Listing value on that is gonna be 50 pound. This is probably by far and away the pickup of the day. I wanna say I paid 10 pound for this, but I'll put a correction on screen. This is the Panasonic DMR EZ49V. VHS DVD combi uh, also has free view. I'm not entirely sure if this one's got a hard drive, but because of the valuation on it, I suspect it does. It's gonna be worthwhile me sourcing a remote for this. Uh, it's no cables with it or anything like that. It's just a standard figure eight power cable, but it's definitely gonna be worth my while getting an aftermarket remote at the very least, because the listing value on that is 150 pound. Another DVD VHS combi, this time it's the JVC HRXVS. Paid 13 pound for that one. And the listing value on that is gonna be 60 pound. Obviously, I could test these two without the remote before I commit to buying a remote for them. Possibly worth my while sourcing a remote for that one as well, because with the remote, you're looking at 80 to 85 pounds for that particular model. There's a very good chance I won't get back to meet the seller of these lamps before. So if you uh, clocked his face on the video earlier, uh, these are going to be a steal. I paid 12 pounds for this banker's lamp. I won't take it out of the box because I want to put off 
getting polystyrene all over the house for as long as humanly possible. It's not a vintage one, it is a reproduction one, but even so, the stunning. It's got a glass shade, probably even stretch the list into a new. Uh, I'll go over it with a fine tooth comb to, to double check to make sure I can actually list it as new. Good looking lamp nonetheless, the uh, listing value on that is going to be £40. Two pairs of trainers from Trainer Guy, which is uh, very, uh, very lean for me. Uh, first pair is Adidas Sleek Women's Trainers. I paid £10 on each for these incidentally listing value on those 28 pound and the others are nike kyrie low listing value on those 30 pound this pet clipper set looks absolutely minty fresh brand spanking new almost it doesn't look it certainly doesn't look like it's been used at all i uh, paid just five pound for that and the listing value i'm going to put on it is 25 pound uh, the brand is zufari just to point a note on pet clippers if you ever come across horse clippers check the comps on them because some of them can go for over a hundred pound obviously check condition and make sure you do your research but certainly worth looking at from a chap i met on sunday at uh, bottom boots i had a, a longer conversation with him this time bought a load more box sets off him absolute bargain i think the average buy box price on amazon which is where they'll be destined for is around about 15 pound and i paid 10 pound per six in fact i think if, if memory serves you might have charged because i bought a load of records off him as well i think you might have charged me 10 pound for all of them anyway he's sending me an invoice that was the other bit of good news because it turns out uh, he's a vat registered business and i've taken his number and i think we, i can spend some serious money with him over the coming months and years it's useful to know he's a that register business because when i inevitably go for the vat threshold then i'll be able to claim back the vat as well on purchases from him so a decent bit of margin those none of them are exceptionally quick sellers there's very little in the way of competition on amazon for them now this was the investment and I'm, i know i'm opening myself up here to a bit of ridicule and i absolutely don't mind at all i'm going to say i paid 150 pound there and thereabouts for all the dvds uh, box sets and all the records the reason it's an investment investment is because i don't pretend to know hardly anything about vinyl there's certainly people out there like a brum reseller who's just a vinyl god it'll certainly be able to steer me down the right track the reason this is a safe bet for me is because of the app that i use to analyze stock for amazon seller amp now the, I'm, i know i run the risk of this sounding like a sponsor video it's not a sponsor video at all although if the seller amp people are watching this video if you want to hit me up then feel free <laughs> but so i don't buy anything at all for amazon without running it through seller amp i'll put a little sort of like side video up on screen to show you what i mean so basically what i'm doing with seller amp is on any particular product i'll scan the barcode and that'll bring up a little window where i can enter the cost price of the item and that will work out my net profit after fees, after shipping, after any other Amazon shenanigan. It even includes the cost of my shipping it to Amazon. So it is a net net profit. Now, the vast majority of these records, there's relatively little profit in them. There's certainly no, no absolute bangers in here. But what I'm looking for on Selleramp is the sell-through rate, the competition, and how consistent the price is. They're the main things I want to be looking at. With all of these records, the sell-through rate's quite low, like I say, but there's no competition, very little or no competition. So just as an example on this Sam Smith record, I'm going to scan the barcode. So Selleramp is telling me at the minute, that three of these records are selling a month. The buy box price is $19.99. So my net profit on each of these is £6.28. So that's absolute net. And scrolling down, it will show me the competition as well. My competition is two other sellers, one of which is Amazon, who do share the buy box on this particular listing, and one other seller. It tells me how many they've got in stock as well. The other private seller on the listing has got two in stock, and Amazon themselves around about 30. So even if I trim up that price to sort of like $19.95 to undercut the, the current seller, I can win the buy box and sell mine relatively quickly. Just to give the people who do know a lot about records a bit of a laugh, I'll show you what I picked up. So two Sam Smiths. I think it's three Enigmas. Three Enigmas, The Feeling, Elton John. I think that's one of the juicier ones, but again, nothing special. Uh, Snow White, I'm thinking on the road up to Christmas, that'll sell pretty well. Frank Sinatra, Katie Tonstall. Lumineers, 
John Mellencamp, Curtis Stigers, Rhymes with Tigers, Keen. I think there's a couple of these. Melanphobia, Cage the Elephant. To do another Sam Smith. Bon Jovi 2020, there's three of those. Um, that's the other one I mentioned before. So nothing earth shattering in there. It, it probably does get, I mean, the chap that I was speaking to, he's saying he's buying records by the pallet load and there's going to be a lot of juicy stock coming through in, in bits and bats kind of thing. So my overall take on this sort of like developing relationship is as well as being able to make a few quid, which is why I'm doing this, it'll be an education as well. I haven't changed my train of thought with vinyl it doesn't really do anything for me but if i can learn a lesson to earn me some money then obviously i'm going to pay attention hi this is future dave at the time of editing this video it's been about a week since i sent all these records into amazon and in that time i read about five of them i've sold so far I'm going to finish off with a whopping great cock up. I know you guys have probably come across this before. In fact, all resellers since the dawn of time will have done this. You look at something and you see what you want to see rather than what's in front of you. And obviously I've been doing this a while now and I still do this and it still annoys the hell out of me and I kick myself. And I'm going to tell you what it is because it's okay to make cock ups. It doesn't matter. I mean, just slap yourself on the wrist, dust off, dust off your shoulders and move on. Everybody makes cock-ups. Own it and just learn from it. On the face of it, these look like a decent pair of Gore-Tex Adidas walking boots, I suppose. I'm, sure, I'm assuming they're walking boots. I'm going to put it on screen how much I paid for it because I think I've been spitting feathers that much about it that I completely put out of my head. I think I might have been a fiver I paid for these, like a complete twonk. If these are in good nick, these are a good pair of boots. But the one thing that I missed that's screamingly obvious is the bloody huge hole in them. Honestly, if that hole was any bigger, I'd have fallen into it. What a complete muppet. Anyway, my point in showing you this is, like I say, it's okay to make cock-ups. In fact, I'd even go to say is it's important to make cock-ups because cock-ups are the best possible way of learning. Right, I'll stop laboring that point now. Anybody in the reselling game will tell you that it's mostly about a constant reinvestment in your future. Even though now I'm probably getting on for six years into reselling, I'm still reinvesting the vast majority of what, what I actually make from reselling. I think on the whole today, in spite of the fact that I didn't pick up very much, I'm gonna say it's a massive win, but the optimistic realist in me tells me that the connection that I made today over time is gonna be extremely profitable. And even if it doesn't turn out that way, I will have learned a lot in the meantime. Hopefully you've got some value out today, even if it's just uh, being able to turn the mickey out of me for a bit for buying some very, very low value records or over buying a pair of shoes with a hole the size of the Grand Canyon in. I'll take that as a win as well. If, I made, if I've made one of you smile, it's a win for me. <laughs> if you have though, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. I'd be uh, very much appreciated. And also, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because then you'll get a notification the next time I post a video up and you'll get to see my lovely face again. But the most important thing of all by a long way is that you've watched the video this far. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, you lovely people, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.